Okay, in this tutorial we're just going to have a look at powering up the light circuit that we created in the previous video. So before I do that, I'm just going to delete these components here. Uh, these are architectural components which have, well, don't have MEP data. Uh, and what I'm also going to do is copy this um, a couple of times, like this. Uh, and the reason for this is I want to be able to add these to the lighting circuit or the switch circuit. Let's show you that first. So if I hover over this object here, let's delete that, don't need it, and hit the tab button, you'll see that I get the switch circuit there. So if I click on this, um, we can see we have the switch system here. So modify, multi-select, hit switch system. And what we can do is we can edit the switch system. Um, to add new components to it. So using the edit button here, uh, default it'll turn on the add to system. So I can add this object and this object and then I can finish editing the system. So now if I hover over one of the light fixtures and hit tab, you can see that it's connected to the switch. Okay. Um, next thing to do, let's see if we have all of this. So that's our switch system. Uh, let's see if we can create a power system for these guys. So what I'm doing is just selecting these objects individually. And you'll see there that uh, with all those, you can do it individually or collectively, it helps to do them collectively. Um, we can click on power here. So if I do that, um, what it'll do is it'll join all of these together and consider them part of a, uh, a circuit. Now, currently I don't have a panel in here. So what I'm going to do is eventually take this circuit and connect it back to a panel. But before I do that, I need to bring in the panel. So under Systems, Electrical Equipment, it says no electrical equipment family is loaded. Would you like to load one? Yes. Go to Electrical, MEP, Electrical Power, Distribution, and we have a lighting and a pa appliance panel board here. So I'll click on that and click open. And then I'm just going to pop that in here. Okay. Now it makes sense to immediately name these things. So I'm just going to grab this panel board here. And in its properties, uh, you'll see that we have, where's the name gone? Panel name. So I'm just going to call this panel one. Okay, so it now has a name, panel one. Um, and what I'm going to do now is try and connect my previously found circuit. So again, just hover over any of the components that are in the circuit, hit the tab button to eventually get the whole lot. And what I should be able to do now is drop down and select panel one. Alas, it is not here. Now, the reason for that is because it's not currently connected to a distribution system. So if we come back to the panel itself and drop down to its properties, we can see we have distribution system here. So let's connect it. And I can't because it says none. Now the reason for this is because it is in, uh, this, this model was created using an architectural template and it doesn't actually have any distribution systems defined. So to do that, I need to go back into systems tab electrical and then just open this up to get the electrical settings and if we look in here we don't have well there's a default system there with nothing in it uh, and if we look at voltage definitions everything's at zero so this is really not good what we need to do is create a distribution system um, and voltage definitions so first of all i'm going to create the distribution system by adding a new one i'm going to call this 230 slash 400. It's going to be three phase, uh, Y, uh, four, and so rename that actually to W, Y, E, just to make it clear. Um, now, it's going to look for a line to line voltage and a line to ground, and currently those are not defined. So what I need to do is go back into voltage definitions here and create uh, 230 volts, uh, value 230 tab bar across to the next one. Uh, minimum 220, maximum 240. And then I'll create another one again. 
this new voltage will be 400. Uh, probably should put 400V in there, but anyway. So I'll put 400 there. 380 minimum, 420 maximum. Let's chin the V in there. Okay, so now those are defined. We can go back into our distribution. Line to line is going to be 400, and line to ground is going to be 230. So now if I click OK here, um, I can come back to my panel, back in here, and under distribution system, I should be able to select my newly created 230, 400. And in it goes. All right, now the next thing to do is bring this circuit back to it. So again, hover over one of the components, tab until we get the circuit, like so. And then under panel, you'll see that we now have panel one. So once it was connected to a distribution system, it pops in here again. So there it goes, and you can see it being brought back to that. Uh, so that is that. So the next thing we can do is we can grab the panel, and we can have a look at the panel schedules. So use the default template. And you can see here, uh, currently the circuit doesn't have a description, but we got one pole, uh, 120VA, and if you look back on our originals, these guys are 40 a pop. Okay, so that's basically what you do. You then add other components, and again, the same way, power them up and uh, select a panel. Okay, thanks for watching.